Good morning everyone. I am Sharmila from English department in Eros Sengundar Engineering College, Pirandurai. In, Eng in English, we are having so many grammar, lots and lots of grammar topics. But today we are going to see only the direct and indirect speech and their rules and relations. So let's see. So now in this video, we will cover important rules of uh, direct and indirect speech. Okay. So, what is the content of this video is introduction about direct and indirect speech, conversions, reported of statements, questions, comments and requests, explanation or un is no type questions and also mixed type of sentence how we, we can change that into direct into indirect speech we can see. First, we are going to see the general introduction of direct and indirect speech. It is a distinction between direct and indirect speech may be confusing for some students. Often, we need to explain an incident or action. It involves quoting what someone said, a special social situation as well as a work email or presentation or example of such instances. There are two forms of speech used to explain of what other people say that is called direct and indirect speech and also it is have another one name that is reported speech reported speech is when we tell someone what another person said to do this we can use direct speech or indirect speech first we can see what does mean by direct speech direct speech is is the actual speech of a speaker it is quoted from the speaker. It is always come in between the quotation mark. That is called active and direct speech. Okay. Direct speech is when the exact words that have been said by a person are written down inside inverted commas. Inverted commas go before and after a direct speech. They surround what was said by the speaker. That is called direct speech after that what is the here we are having one example that is i am mugbuck in this sentence i am mugbuck here it is the direct words of actual words of a speaker next we are going to see the indirect speech what does mean by indirect speech means indirect speech is a speaker speech reported by the third person so it is called it when direct indirect speech is used used the writer will share the main points of what someone has said without writing exactly what they said in full no they hear no speech punctuation like inverted commas is used to used for indirect speeches and all okay so here are the example that he said his mugbuck in direct in speech we are see the example i am mugbuck here we are transfer that into indirect speech that is called he said he is mugbuck so next we are having so many mechanism of converting direct into indirect speech that mechanism that means nothing like that that is the rules and regulations of changing direct into indirect speech let us see direct speech to indirect speech First, we want to add put that before the indirect statement. That is called that we want to add that is called as a conjunction. We want to add here. Here uh, we have the example that is he said comma in the inverted comma that is the actual word of a speaker. That is the girl is exciting. Here we can change this sentence is a direct speech. So now we are going to change that into a indirect speech so the word is he said that here first the first rule that how we are going to add that so that before the indirect statement here what is the indirect statement here the game was exciting that is an indirect statement before indirect statement we want to add the word that okay so here the what is the word he said that the game was exciting next word is said to so next rule we are going to see said to told where we are going to add these words and then pronoun changing so pronoun changing is 
plays a vital role in direct speech to indirect speech because uh, that uh, that is a main role we are uh, splitted that as a third person speaking we showed that as a third person speaking okay here we have this some tabular column to clearly explain about what is the direct speech we are using for uh, speech words we are using in a direct speech and what we what are the words we want to use when we are going to change that into a reported speech first uh, in direct speech we are writing or we are tell i means we want to change that into a reported speech he and she this word instead of i we want to use he and she same like that if we have we we want to use they if we have you we want to use he she they and if we have my we have to use his and her if we have our we have to use their if we have your we want to use his her their and also another side that is uh, we are also having me uh, me we are having in direct speech we want to uh, change that into a reported speech that time we want to use the word him and her instead of me at same like that us when us is there we want to use them you is there we want to use him her them and then mine is there his and hers we want to use and then ours is there we want to use theirs yours is there we want to use his hers theirs so these are the pronouns we want to use that into a change uh, pronoun into a direct into a indirect speech next the may, main rule of this is verbs tense tense changes we are going to see the tense changes now so what is the tense changes here means uh, in direct speech we are having a sentence in a present tense that means in here we want to see the sentence in uh, in direct speech that is in that sentence in between the inverted comma that sentence we want to see and we want to identify the uh, sentence okay which tense he it is having okay so in plus if a direct speech sentence is a present tense we want to change that into a past tense then it is in a present continuous we want to change in a past continuous tense if it is a present perfect tense or past tense we want to change that into a past perfect tense or else uh, we are we are also use modal uh, auxiliary verbs into a direct speech on that time we want to use that and the modal auxiliary verb into a past form plus the main verb we want to use it uh, and then past continuous tense we are using means we want to use past perfect continuous tense for this these are all the common rule common tense changing rule in direct and indirect speech okay and then next uh, rule is uh, verbs are not changed in the usual way it is having universal truth definite past time so for must and uh, remain uh, unchanged if used to donate an obligations on that time it was remain unchanged that verb is remain unchanged these are all the rules we are having changed to would have to if used to express the necessity in the future have had and uh, had is changed to had had so these are all the some exception rules the verbs are not changed in the usual way what is the usual way in before uh, uh, slide we are seeing some tabular column is right that is uh, the common usual way to change direct into indirect speech tense form but uh, these are all the exceptions we are having to change uh, direct to indirect speech okay so next fifth rule is that would should ought to had better might and used to is there mean verb is not changed okay and then infinitives comes and that time also the verb is not changed and then shall will would will come means unless shall is used to make a request for instructions here the instruction is there means we want to change that to a should 
adverbs of a time and place and some words so next rules is next is the main rules that we are going to see adverb so there is a change in a adverb in direct and indirect speech so the adverbs uh, adverbs of time and place and some words we are going to see how that will changes in direct to indirect speech here we are going to see that uh, so first we are having the word here in direct speech that word automatically change when we are change the direct sentence into a indirect sentence in that place here change as a there so here and change to there at same like that this the change to that these change to those now change to then today change to that day this week change to that week yesterday changes the day before something like that we are having the these uh, words also change direct to indirect that is called the day before yesterday that means that change into reported is two days before so if uh, there is a word three days ago the word change three days before if the word is last year that word change into the year before and then the word tomorrow is there the word change into the next day the day after tomorrow in two days time it will be change if the word come will there the word change into go if the word bring is there means it the word change to take and then the reported state what uh, first uh, we want to know what does mean by statement here if you have any guesses here to uh, statement statement means uh, that is a common related words common sentence okay okay now we are going to see the word of reported statement okay so reported statement means uh, reported sent statements statement first we want to know the statement what is mean by statement it is a kind of sentence type okay a statement means it is uh, give information or ideas it is a simple word it is a simple or ordinary word it is a it is also called as a declarative sentence in english okay so in that particular ordinary word or a simple word simple sentence how we are going to say for example uh, you are a good man uh, green is my favorite color hawaii is a tropical climate these are all the common or a say, common unusual sentence you are having in english so that sentence is called statement okay after reporting verbs for example uh, i am happy that is called reported speech here so reported be statement he says here a reporting verb is that he says after that we want to add that here he is happy i am happy that change into he is happy because i pronounce change into he am is a am is change into is a happy is always same okay it is a first statement is a eternal truth so eternal truth mean that is having universal truth okay what is the exception we are see for universal truth so there is no verb change in universal truth here is that the boy said the earth goes around the sun here the earth goes around the sun is earth goes around the so in this sentence we are having a universal truth the boy said the earth goes round the sun here the earth goes round the sun as a universal truth here okay so the boy here there is a we are having some exception rules that is that uh, there is a no verb change in universal truth so here the boy said we want to add the conjunction word that after that there is a no changes in direct speech the word comes the same the earth goes around the sun so this is a rules for changing reported statement here next rule is that using relative pronoun that 
but it can be omitters in some places that is uh, he said i am tired and that in this sentence uh, we want we don't want to add that he said he was tired that is enough here we don't mean to add that and then another one rule is said to is fully change and here we want to say reporting verb we want to change said to always change to said to is usually changed to told in reported speech so said to always change to told he said to her i am tired so here said to change to told so the word he told her that conjunction we want to add i change into he because here the subject is a he am is a present tense so here we want to change am as am into a past form so was tired so in this sentence he said to her i am tired that is a direct sentence so in indirect he told her that he was tired after that so here we are having some exercises for yours so first we can see i shall be there in time said tom here we want to add tom said we want to use after that we want to add the conjunction that and then i change into he shall is a present so shall we change into would would be there in time this is the statement we want to change into direct to indirect speech and then we are having that reported question what does mean by question means this is also called as question words or it is also called as interrogative sentence in kinds of sentence that is called question sentence so interrogative sentence also easy to spot because there is a question mark in that that is the clue we are having to uh, identify this sentence is a indirect sentence or a, it is interrogative sorry interrogative sentence or else it is a question sentence we are having easily we are having to find this okay so first we can see a uh, reported question how we can change direct to indirect question introduce first we are going to introduce the verbs what are the verbs we are going to use to change direct into indirect speech what is that uh, so for instead of said instead of said in that word we are having in direct speech we are having the word said right so instead of said we want to use the word asked inquired wondered wanted to know tried to find out etc these are all the words we want to use in reported questions we don't want to use we never introduced with said we introduce only with the introduce the with verbs what are all the verbs asked inquired wondered wanted to know tried to find out these are all the words we want to use instead of said in relative pronoun that is never used instead of that we are using in question mark that we we don't want to use that uh, conjunction word that so uh, another one rule is we are having in uh, in indirect direct speech we are having question mark in direct sentence so uh, instead of question mark we want to add full stop there okay at the end uh, there are two types one is beginning with question words another one is not beginning with question with these two types we are having in question word okay first we are going to see beginning with question words so example 1 where have you been this afternoon the mother asked her son here where where is always a question word w q u e s t i o n question word so it i this sentence begins with question word so first we are going to see what is the rules we are going to see change that into indirect speech so the mother asked her son instead of conjunction that we want to use what is the question word is there in a direct speech we want to use that same question word as a conjunction in direct speech so here what is the question word there where so here we use that as a conjunction so the mother asked her son where he 
had have be have you been here is there so been that is in a present perfect so we are here we want to change that into a past perfect so he had been uh, this afternoon that is change into adverb change that into a that afternoon we want to change so what is the direct speech first where have you been this afternoon the mother asked her son the so then the indirect speech is the mother asked her son where he had been that afternoon so last we, we eliminated the question mark and quotation mark after uh, end of the sentence we are using the full stop this is the example for beginning with question words and then another one example for beginning with question word here we are using another one <coughs> question word that is called which subject you like most the teacher asked the students that so next we are going to change change that into a indirect speech that is the teacher asked the student which which is acted as a conjunction here subject you change into a they like is in a present form so that change into a past form so liked most so the teacher asked the students which subject they liked most so what is the direct speech first which subject you like most the teacher asked the students the indirect speech is the teacher asked the students which subject they liked most okay subject comes before the verb here okay so next one is not beginning with question words okay so example 1 did you watch tv last night so tom asked me here there is no um tag question words here so question means with what what obligate question how these are all the question word but in the sentence there is no question word that word starts with auxiliary verbs so did you watch tv last night tom asked me uh, in the previous uh, rule we are, i am sitting telling that uh, wh question acted as a conjunction word but here there is no wh question instead of wh question we want to add conjunction here is that if or whether conjunction word if we used as a conjunction so now we can see tom asked me uh, we want to use conjunction here right so we want to use whether whether is a conjunction so we want to eliminate the word uh, what is the auxiliary word uh, we can use there okay so whether i had uh, you watch uh, you did is a past tense right so that change into past perfect so i had watched tv the night the last night is there so the night before we want to change so we can see see again so what is the direct speech here did you watch tv last night tom asked me so the indirect speech is tom asked me whether i had watched tv last night before so another one example can you answer this question the teacher asked john so here we are going we want to we are going to change that into a indirect speech though the teacher asked john so i am already said the conjunction word is if and whether in before that word we are using whether so now we are going to use if if he could uh, can is changed into could could answer that question he could answer that question <coughs> sorry so example 2 again we can see what is the direct speech can you answer the this question the teacher asked john so the direct speech in direct speeches the teacher asked john if he could answer that question okay so shall we see another one reported question is that exercise we are now going to see okay so in that in this first sentence we are having the wh word so what are you studying he asked her that always changed into he asked her what what acted as a conjunction what she was studying okay so next sentence here we didn't have a wh word 
Do you like the apple? The farmer asked Bill. Do so the direct speech is the farmer asked Bill if or whether we can use uh, that is up to us. So if or whether he liked the apple. Okay. These are the two types of uh, question word. Uh, we are changed direct into indirect speech. Okay. Next one is report uh, commands. Report commands. It is also called as imperative sentence. Command sentence is also called as Imperative sentence. First, we are going to see what is meant by imperative sentence. Imperative sentence issue commands or request or they can express their desire or wish. That sentence is called as imperative sentence. They are punctuated with a simple period. Period means that is the full stop. So, full stop only we are using for imperative sentence. So, first we are using this for reported commas. So, verb giving a uh, order becomes an infinitive. So here that is a order we are going to give to someone that is called command. Okay. So here verb said becomes said change into told, ordered, asked, commanded, requested, begged. These are all the word we are using for to change uh, these said, these sentences. Okay. Add the person to whom the order was given. We want to add the person who we are going to give order. That person we want to add there. So negative commands or change the same way with not. If we are telling any negative command or negative order to someone. On that time we want to add the word. Add the word not in that indirect speech. Okay. So here we are going to see the example. So, first sentence is, touch your toes, he said to us. Here, touch your toes. This is one of the order. So, he said to us. Here, said to, changed to, told. He told us to. Here, we want to use uh, sub conjunction as, conjunction is to. So, he told us to touch our toes. Your change into our. So, you our toes. What is the direct speech? Touch your toes. He said to us. So what is indirect? He told us to touch our toes. So next sentence is uh, don't lie down. He said to me. This is also like an order. So he want, we want to add he ordered me. Okay said to change into ordered me. It is a negative sentence. So we want to add not here right. So not to as a conjunction lie down. Okay. We want to use like this. Next for exercise we are having fire the lieutenant said. Okay. So answer is the lieutenant commanded. He because he command to his soldier. So here there is a no uh, order person. Ordered person, uh, sir, there is no receiver person there. So, here we want to imagine that and add a, his soldier. Command, lieutenant always commanded his soldier, right? So, we want to add here. The lieutenant commanded his soldiers to fire. Two is a conjunction here we want to add. Next sentence, we are going to see that as exclamation or exclamatory sentences in English. First of all, we are going to see the what is the meaning of exclamation sentence. So first uh, exclamation sentence and exclamatory sentences. This is the fourth type of a sentence we are having in English language. So what is mean by exclamatory sentences is exclamatory sentences express the strong emotion. It always expresses the strong emotions of a beings okay it doesn't really matter what the emotion is an exclamatory sentence is the type of sentence need to express it what is the feeling or what is the emotion we are having in our inner mind we want to express through words we are we are using only this type of sentence that is called exclamatory sentence we are having okay so exclamatory sentence always ends with the exclamation mark so it is a it is pretty easy to spot them because uh, if uh, in our question type also we are having a question mark to identify that sentence as a 
क्वेश्चन सेंटेंस सी हियर आल्सो वी आर हैविंग एक्सक्लेमेशन मार्क्स सो इज सो वी आर इजीली आइडेंटिफाई दिस सेंटेंस एज अ एक्सक्लेमेशन सेंटेंस ओके यूज एक्सक्लेमेटरी सेंटेंस टू पोर्ट्रे द इमोशन बट टेक केयर टू यूज देम स्पेरिंगली अदरवाइज योर राइटिंग विल लैक सिंसियरिटी आवर लाइक liking is uh, writing is somewhat uh, lack their sincerity okay so now we are going to see in a detailed way no definite rules there is a no uh, definite rules for changing into a indirect speech often we are using say remark explain greet give explanation to surprise so according to the situation we can add these verbs okay so example 1 what a big house here we are using uh, exclamation mark right he said so often we can use he exclaimed here conjunction we want to use that that he exclaimed that what change into it it was a big house so what is the direct speech there what a big house he said so the ex the indirect speeches he said or he we can use he exclaimed that it was a big house here second example is hi john uh, tom said lovely day isn't it so uh, this is a, a two person conversation we are having so to, now we are going to see they are greeted each other right so for, what is that tom greeted john because he said hi john so he is greeted him so tom greeted john and uh, and uh, remarked and, and also he continues his sentence right so that's why we are we are going to add that word and remarked after that we are going to add the conjunction it was a lovely day so this is the rules we are having to change okay next sentence next we are having some rules is for that yes or no reported by subject plus auxiliary verb this is also come okay uh, for example have you had your lunch sam asked yes paul replied okay this is a this is the question we are having okay so here uh, this is called a dialogue two two person there sam said uh, have you had your lunch so paul replied yes so in this uh, direct speech we are going to change that into a in direct speech so sam is asked the question right so we are going to ask sam asked paul so paul only replied that right? so sam asked to paul uh, so sam asked paul if is a conjunction we want to use he had had so already i am using that have had is there means we are having some exception at the starting of the slide so what is that have had come means we want to use had had format right so at this format if he had had his lunch and paul replied that he had so we want to use like that so example of two another one example did you watch the tv program last night mary asked so no she replied so here also a two person conversation so mary asked shu if if is a conjunction she had watched because did you this is a past tense so we want to use past perfect she had watched the tv program the night before because the here the sentence is last night so that changed into night before and su replied after that next sentence is a su sentence right so we want to say su replied that is a conjunction we want to use she had not because he said no so he she had not so next sentence next we are going to see the exercise how poor the reporters the manager said so now he is remarking some mistakes of his worker right so the re manager remarked that report was poor okay after that we are going to see mixed type so suitable of introductory verb so it is suitable only with a introductory verb example one don't play with that knife sally miss chan said you will hurt yourself okay so what is the sentence of this means
Don't play with that knife. So, so today we are going to see another one sentence. Don't play with that knife. Sally, Mrs. Chan said, you will hurt yourself. Now, we are going to say, Sally said that, Sally said that, do not play with that knife. So, this is the sentence we are having, Miss Chan told. Okay, next sentence is, you look beautiful in that dress. Jan Paul said, how much did it cost you? So, Paul told Jan that she looked beautiful in the dress. And he asked her how much it had cost. So, here Paul said change into a Paul told Jan. So, here we want to use that. She, you look beautiful in the dress. Here, look beautiful is a present tense. So, she looked, that change into a past tense. She looked beautiful in the dress. Okay. Another sentence is asked, another sentence is asked her. Because that is a question, how much did it cost you is a question, right? So, asked her how much it is cost, how much did, did it is a past tense, so that change into a past perfect. So, how much it had cost her. This is the sentence we are using to change this, that into a indirect speech. What is the direct sentence? You look beautiful in the dress, Jane. So, Paul said, um, how much did it cost you? So, the indirect speech is, Paul told Jan that she looked beautiful in the dress and asked her how much it is. In this sentence, we have used two types of sentence. One is exclamation sentence. Another one we are using that is a interrogative sentence also. We are using here. Okay. Use Either as, because, since or a participle. Where we can use as, say, because, since. We are going to see. First example, we can use as. What is that? Where did you buy the dress? Shoe. I would like to get one, one for my sister James said. Okay. Here, two person speaking. So, James wanted to know where shoe had bought the dress. As, here we want to use as. He want. To con connect the two sentences, we are using as here. So, as he wanted to get one for his sister. Okay. The next example is, do not go to a bed late. Remember, you will get to get up early tomorrow. Biggie mother said. So, Biggie mother, he is reminding something to him. So, here you are going to use reminding. Okay. Biggie mother told her, not to go to bed late. He, so, here we are going to use word reminding. Because here also we are having mixed type of sentence. So, reminding her that she would have to get up early the next day. Early tomorrow. That means the next day it's changed. Okay. So, mixed type example exercises. Uh, do you like to have a bowl of rice? That is a interrogative sentence. The chef said to John. We don't have any other food here. This is a statement we are having. So, here we have two types of sentence. That is, one is, one is question sentence, another one is a statement. So, the chef asked John, if or whether we want to use in a question sentence, so use here. He liked, like change into like, to have a bowl of rice. And another sentence is said statement. So, we are using said that they don't have any other food here change to they so so that is that's it i hope uh, you are all uh, very much clear in this topic uh, thank you all